It was the spring of 2018 and a friend of mine and I were in our office and we're working on a feature film. This is the pre-production stage. So we're working with spreadsheets and schedules. We're trying to find locations and you always feel behind in this kind of situation because the start day of shooting is imminent. Well, we had learned that we needed to let God lead our decision-making. And so we started praying regularly before we began the work day. And one of the things that we had begun to pray was that God would fill us and lead us by his spirit. It says in the scriptures that when a person places their faith in Jesus, that God puts his Holy Spirit in your heart. And his spirit is a helper. He will encourage you, he'll comfort you, and he'll also prompt you. He'll prompt you to obey the word of God in your specific context. So while we're praying in the middle of that prayer, the Lord says to me, I want you to call your friend Joe right now and encourage him. Well, this was totally outside of the box for me. This was not fitting our schedule, our agenda for the day. So I looked up at my friend and I said, I think we need to call Joe right now and encourage him. And he said, okay, you know, uh, we've got a lot to do here, but we'll do that. So I dialed the number, called my friend and he's in New York City and he said, I'm sitting here with my wife. She has cancer. He said, uh, we're just praying together right now. And so I said, well, Joe, I want to just encourage you, brother, and just let you know I, I love you, I appreciate you, and uh, can I just pray for you and your wife? And he said, sure. So I prayed for them on the phone, and again, by faith, I didn't know why God was prompting me to do this. And then we hung up, and then we jumped back into our meeting. Well, a few hours later, I received a text message from Joe. He said, my wife just passed away. And this was totally unexpected. We didn't know, Joe didn't know that that was gonna happen. And uh, he said, your phone call this morning was desperately needed because God used that to prepare me for what was about to happen today. I was overwhelmed by the Lord, overwhelmed by his Holy Spirit. And it reminded me of Acts chapter eight, when Philip is led by God out onto a desert road. And it says in verse 29, the Holy Spirit said to Philip, go over and walk along beside the carriage. So Philip had looked up, he'd seen a man, a stranger he didn't know. So he turns and runs up to this carriage and then it becomes a divine appointment because the man is reading out of Isaiah, wondering who is this suffering savior? And Philip was able to lead this man to Christ. A few minutes later, he baptizes him and he goes about his day. I want you to know that if Jesus is Lord of your life, then the Holy Spirit is in your heart. I wanna challenge you to begin to pray, God, would you lead me? Would you fill me? Would you guide me by your Holy Spirit? And be open to him prompting you throughout the day. It will always align with his word. It will be a way to help you to obey and carry out his word. And then God will get the glory for what happens.